renowned cargo trailers and we are located at my dealership today in Douglas, Georgia. And we're doing this video, it is Thursday and we're gonna give you a little testimony about the goodness of God. I'm here with a really good friend of mine who's helped me more than he could possibly imagine, um, Rusty Harper. He is, um, a, like I said, a real good friend who um, who influences my life so much. He's um, in love with Jesus. He's actually a pastor, but he's also a business owner. And we just wanted to tell you a little bit about um, how faith works today. And me and Rusty, uh, we've known each other now for probably about eight or nine years, yeah. man. And um, we actually met each other through Jesus, man. He's a brother in Christ. And like I said, he's helped me in so many ways. And um, he helps a lot of people in our community and surrounding communities as well. But we wanted to tell you about, um, there's a verse that comes to my mind. It's Ephesians 3.20. And it says that God will do exceedingly and abundantly, far more than we could ever ask, think, imagine, or even dream of. Yeah. And um, this, how long ago was it where we eaten at Jerry J's or Hagamon's? It's been a year ago since we started this. Uh, so we're going to tell you what all God has done in a year. And he, year. and he has done it, and he's done it big, and he's done it fast, and he's done it exceedingly and abundantly, far more than me and Rusty could ever think, imagine, or dream of. So uh, we were eating breakfast um, about a year ago and uh, me and Rusty were just sitting there talking about the goodness of God and he begins to share with me this dream and this vision that God had put inside of him. And um, go ahead, talk a little bit about it. Well, I need to back up just a little bit and say that when God saved me, he led me into the woods working logging. And I did that for five years and the Lord started putting it on my heart to to leave the woods and I didn't know where to go, but I knew that I was to go and to preach. And so I left my job and have no source of income and God just miraculously provided for me each and every day. And I went around in the beginning to recovery centers and just shared the word with men, prayed with men. And then shortly after that, God led me to a church over in Ryan, Georgia called Pleasant Grove. And uh, long story short, they called me to be their pastor. I prayed about it. Me and my family believed that the Lord called us there. So we began to pastor that church. Well, a little while after that, we got invited to go on a trip to the mountains, which was paid for. God, uh, uh, my pastor, um, Steve Newton, invited my family to go with them. And I didn't have any extra money to go on this trip. So I started praying and saying, well, Lord, if there's any work I could do, you know, um, I'd like to have a, the money to go on this trip, you know. And so next thing you know, I bump into a pastor friend of mine and he's looking for somebody to pressure wash his house. Well, I didn't have a pressure washer, so I went and borrowed one. So I borrowed the pressure washer, I washed the pastor's house, and when I got done with his house, Lane, he'd come up with a pressure washer, brand new, and he said, I believe that God told me to buy this so that you could wash some houses. And so one thing led to another, I started getting calls, and then my wife uh, suggested that I look into cutting a little grass. So we needed a lawnmower for our house anyway, and so when I knew that I was gonna get a lawnmower, I knew that I would need a trailer. So I came to see Lane about a trailer. Me and Lane talked a while, and um, after a while, the Lord, the, the Lord put it on Lane's heart to give me a trailer. And he said, one condition, I'm gonna give you one bigger than what you're asking for. And so I was like, Lane, I got a little bitty truck. You know, how am I gonna pull this big trailer? And Lane's like, brother, God's giving you a trailer. Can't you believe him to help you with a bigger truck? <laughs> and so um, we had to wait on the trailer for a little while to get built. Lane just decked it out for me, hooked me up with a great trailer for my lawn equipment. And on the pressure washing side of things, I had bought a wheelchair ramp and hooked it up to the back of my little Nissan Frontier. And was I had that pressure washer that the preacher had given me. And I was riding around with it on a wheelchair ramp. And that's how I was carrying on my pressure washing stuff. Well, uh, shortly after that, uh, God started putting a name in my heart called Real Clean. And really, you know, it's more about, um, I want to, for this business to be a way for us to meet people, for us to be a witness for Jesus, and for us to, to do good work at an affordable price, to be honest and fair, and to be able to be a witness for Jesus. And if people are lost, maybe God could use our work and our witness while we're serving them to, to maybe draw somebody's heart to the Lord. So that's why it's called Real Clean, R-E-E-L. And so we we uh, we cut grass and we pressure wash. But um, I came back to see Lane about getting a bigger trailer. I was finally to a place to where um, I was gonna believe God for a little more. I was a little nervous about it. Um, but I invested in this trailer and uh, they had it built custom for me. 
they uh, made everything uh, beefed up and sturdy. They doubled up the floors. It's got two sheets of three quarter inch plywood. It's got this, uh, I don't know what this is called. Rubber here. tread plate floor. All right. RTP floor. Rubber tread plate floor in it to protect my trailer from the water. Um, it has uh, the walls on the inside, which are beautiful. It's got lights on the inside so I can see really good when I'm working. And I took it down to LaGrange, Georgia, um, to a man named Leon Johns, who is just the guy in Georgia for all things pressure washing. And he is just building the best setups right now for trailer rigs for people who are washing um, in the washing business. Mr. Leon is with uh, Southern Style Pressure Washing in La uh, LaGrange, Georgia. Like I say, we took it up there. He put all this stuff on there for us. We've got a 425 gallon water tank. We got a chemical tank, soap tank. We got all of our hoses and hose reels. And we've got Mr. Leon's um, uh, custom uh, manifold, which allows us to dial in the exact amount of water, bleach, and soap that we want to use to come through our line to wash things. And the best thing about this setup is we have invested a good bit of money in the right kind of equipment to be able to safely wash anything. We can soft wash, we can wash shingle roofs, we can wash anything, vinyl siding, anything that needs delicate uh, washing, we can do it softly and safely with this. And that's our number one priority is to keep things safe and also uh, to get it clean. So uh, long story short, this started out with a little wheelchair ramp and a pressure washer that a preacher gave me and Lane hooked us up with the trailer. Another thing I wanna say about that is the Lord, the Lord helped me uh, see something and experience something I had never experienced before. When Lane gave us the trailer, because we didn't have the financial overhead, the burden of paying that trailer payment, we were able to go and that seed that Lane sown in us, we were able to multiply it. We were able to go cut people's grass for free. We were able to go serve people without charging them because Lane, God had used Lane to make such a significant investment in us. And so the Lord has just really shown me more about what it means to, to give and how God works through our giving and multiplies exceedingly and abundantly <laughs> above Amen. all that we could ask of. Well, you know, it talks about uh, seed time and harvest and sowing in the Bible. It is a kingdom principle. It's just not something that me and Rusty's throwing out there to tell you, hey, go try it. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't work. I promise you it'll work. God has established this as a principle in the kingdom. And, you know, one of the, what, how God really moved on my heart is I know Rusty's heart. I knew he was good. Uh, soil to sow into but the the main thing that he does in his business and we do in our business is we use our businesses as a platform for the gospel we're not ashamed of the gospel we are um, wanting to show and tell everybody what God's done in our life because if he'll do it in our life he set us free he's delivered us we walk in complete freedom lacking nothing and it's because of what God's done in our life and the Bible also says the kingdoms of the world shall come under the influence of Jesus. So we use our businesses as a platform for the gospel of Jesus Christ. And many lives are being touched by that. Um, and you're continuing to sow. The, the sowing's not so stopping. It's a continuous cycle. And God's just going to keep expanding your tent, Rusty. I hadn't even told you this, but about two weeks ago, I was down at the beach and I had a dream about you. And, and that's what the Lord showed me was he was expanding your tents. And I just prophesy this into your life, man. Now that you're able to do these big buildings, these commercial buildings, and you're able to get in there with the right equipment and do it at a, a, a feasible time, that God is about to start, I mean, stuff is about to just start pouring into your life, man. And um, there's going to be more trailers to come, more employees to hire, more people to bless. And that's what's coming in your life. And it's all about taking that step of faith. You know, fear will paralyze you and cause you not to take that risk. Right. Well, you can't win being afraid to lose, y'all. Fear will paralyze you, right. but faith will take you to that next level. And sometimes it's scary. Yeah. I mean, it's scary for me. I've had to walk out in faith the last three weeks of my life. But one thing I know, that God meets all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Even when I can't see it, I mean, and that's what faith is. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not yet seen. I might not can see it, but I trust God, and it always comes to pass. It always, man. If we'll take that next step, he'll meet us right where we're at every time. 
Well, guys, y'all, like I said, this is a great friend. I love to see what God's doing in his life, and I know he's not done, that the best is yet to come. This is just the beginning. We just met a year ago, man. Think about where you're going to be in five years. Amen. And, God, um, and guys, we just want to say thank you for watching our videos. Um, when we got in this business, it was never about trailers. It was always about you. It was always about people. And we love to be able to be a blessing to people, and we love to be able to share our faith. And um, guys, you can check us out. If you're looking for a rig like this, um, if I'll, I'll get you the contact that Rusty just said. It'll be on the video. Laura will post it on the video. Mr. Leon, he can help build your perfect rig, customize it however you want. But guys, we just want to tell you we love you, and Jesus loves you, and um, he's not mad at you, but he is madly in love with you. And if you ever want to just call and talk about Jesus and not a trailer, you can call us here at Renown. That's what we love to do. Well, guys, Y'all know the rest. Until then, y'all be blessed.